and Rahim. Now we will be talking about our second case, five year old um, Ahmed coming with his parents complaining of eye deviation um, while uh, in, in periods of visual inattention or when he's daydreaming uh, and the thing is a little bit getting worse with time. So uh, on examination as you can see his right eye is a little bit deviated outwards uh, while he's looking at his uh, with his left eye. Now let's uh, do our uh, regular edge first. As you can see, his oculometry looks fine, except for a very mild, let's say, uh, abduction deficit in his right eye. Otherwise, things looks fine. Okay, so let's go back to the cover and cover testing. So this is the cover. First thing we will be covering the right eye and see if there is any difference. So as you can see while doing the cover and cover test for the right eye there is no movement. Let's do cover and cover testing for the left eye. So once we covered the left eye, the right eye took up fixation and the left eye went outward. Uh, with a comparable and equal amount of uh, deviation between the right and the left eye. So this is called committent squint, committent exotropia. Okay, committent deviation, outward deviation of the eye. <coughs> and committent means that the angle of the right eye and the left eye are the same. Okay, great. So um, let's try to uh, so why do we do the cover and cover testing there are three main important objectives that we do the cover and cover testing for the first is to identify the direction of squint whether it's exotropia isotropia hyper or hypo uh, second uh, the amount of deviation which uh, which uh, we use a prism uh, either uh, at the same side or the contralateral side of the cover um, in order to, do, to um, detect the amount of deviation and finally the preference the eye preference whether the patient is always fixing with his right eye with his left eye or it is alternative alternating between both eyes so uh, let's put the prism now and always when you put the prism it has to be at the same uh, the apex should be that it should be d uh, always towards the side of deviation so at that in this um, example the base should be inward and the apex should be outward okay and now let's go again so once I removed the cover, the left eye took fixation and the right eye went outward. So I have to increase a little bit my prisms and try to see if I still have some movement. Yes, I do have some movement here. So I have to in a little bit. So I have to increase the uh, prismatic power a little bit now. I have 25 prism diopters and now I'm covering the patient's left eye and then uncover go again so as you can see there is no movement let's try to increase a little bit the prismatic power and as you can see here the eyes are now going inward so I am over correcting my patient so I go back to 25 prism diopter <coughs> and this is the uh, total amount of exo deviation that the patient has 25 present diopters. Okay? Great.